Okay, so let's move on to the next stage. I'm going to start with number 10 here. In cell 8, cell M8, use a function to count the number of throws that were not recorded as NT. So in other words, count the amount of throws, amount of good throws that each athlete had. So we're going to need to discount the NT in there somewhere. So first of all, what we need to do is in there, as always, start with equals and count if. Open your brackets, and then the next thing I need to include is the range. Now this is the number of throws. Throws 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, which is E8 to J8. And again, I need to put in a comma, and it's highlighted the criteria that I need. Now in some way, I need to discount everything that says NT. The only time there's an NT within that range, I need to discount it. What we need to use is something called a Boolean operator. And the one I'm going to use is the greater than symbol. Sorry, first of all, I need to put in speech marks, followed by the less than symbol and the greater than symbol. And those two put together um, basically mean not include. Not include NT. I'm going to put that in caps just to keep it neat, close my speech marks and close my brackets. So let's just look over that again. What I'm saying is count everything in E8 to J8 not including NT. Now that has given me six. Number of throws is six. So let's just count that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, there's none including NT. Now if I replicate this down, we should then start to see a difference. So, for example, here it says 5, and that means it's actually discounted or not included NT. So it's counted 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 good throws. So that's the count if function.